After a two month water break, Naperville Sports Weekly is officially back up and running. Welcome into the football preview show where we look at our six area high schools and break down what you should expect for the upcoming season. Kickoff doesn't happen for another five days, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared, right? Let's start with the team that went the furthest in 2017. Justin Cornwell reports on the Red Wings from Bennett Academy. It takes many elements to create and maintain a championship level football program. Confidence, experience, talent, and hunger are four crucial elements that will fuel the 2018 Bennett Academy Red Wings. Last fall, the Red Wings battled their way to the Class 7A semifinals for the second consecutive year. And for the second year in a row, they were denied a trip to the state championship. After East St. Louis ended the Cinderella run in 2016, eventual state champion Batavia knocked out the Red Wings last November by a score of 23-13. The 2018 Bennett group is ready to break through and make that final game. You know, every day in the weight room, everybody was getting after it. And, uh, you know, we we're throwing like three or four times a week, uh, even through the winter. So, you know, I think the difference from last year to this year is, um, you know, we're ready to go. We're not going to be satisfied with semifinals again. I think it's a balance of, uh, you know, um, having some a little bit of dissatisfaction mixed in because, uh, at one side, we're happy we've made the semifinals, and the other side, there is a sense of dissatisfaction that uh, that we've come up short from the championship, and that's something that we're all aware of. Confident in the ability to build on the past two semifinal appearances, Bennett also brings back varsity experience at several key positions. When starting quarterback Matt Boyle broke his wrist in week five last season, it appeared the year might slip away, but Colin Gillespie helped right the ship, guiding the team to a six and two record as a starter. Now a junior, Gillespie will be the main signal caller for the Red Wings. I know last year he was a little bit nervous. We threw him into the fire. Um, you know, went from the frying pan to the fire pretty quick, week five. But uh, he's, he's ended up starting eight games for us, which is almost a full season. And, uh, we're just, we just want him to relax and play his game because he's got great athleticism. And now it's just a matter of putting it all together. Those games last year definitely gave me some confidence um, coming into this year. Um, you know, I'm just trying to help the four new receivers because we've got four new receivers from, uh, starting this year. Um, you know, I feel like I have a whole, whole playbook down, and um, you know, I'm just trying to get everybody ready. Also returning on offense are running backs Ben Hickey and Michael Weimer, creating the type of thunder and lightning attack that, combined with the huge offensive line group and the running ability of Gillespie, should be a nightmare for opposing defenses to slow down. The defense will miss ball hawking All-State defensive back Connor Reed and his nine interceptions, but Jack Cooney and Billy Lawler will return to the defensive backfield to help continue the Red Wings' strong tradition of creating turnovers. Well, really to continue it, we just gotta keep the intensity up and you know play as a team and just do our responsibilities together. And I think the main reason that we get that many turnovers, you know, we're coached well and we got the players in the right spots to make the plays and. When those guys do make the plays, it's really something that hypes the team up a lot. The defensive line looks stout with tackle Jackson Stevens back in the middle and all-conference lineman Jack Benish attacking off the edge. Several newcomers will see increased playing time this season for the Red Wings. Coach Pat New is confident these players will fit seamlessly into the starting lineup. And we've got a number of uh, juniors who have stepped up and um, worked hard in the offseason. And um, you know, one of them that comes to mind is Cole Walsh on the defensive line. He's really been a, a uh, you know big time player for us in defense. And then we've got some seniors who weren't able to play last year, like Nico Kaspersky and uh, some others who. Um, who are going to step up and we're expecting productive senior years out of them. So you do, we do have a lot of guys we feel like we're in developmental stage last year that we expect big things out of this year. There is never an easy schedule when you play in the East Suburban Catholic Conference. Notre Dame, St. Viator, and Nazareth are always tough tests, while the Red Wings hope the season finale against Marist will have conference championship implications. Bennett will start the year in unique fashion, taking on St. Lawrence on Saturday afternoon at Northern Illinois University in DeKalb. It's for sure week by week. You know, any team in this conference can beat you any day of the week. It doesn't matter what their record is. It's Catholic football. They're going to come out to you, come out and hit you in the mouth every play. And, you know, you have to take them as seriously as you would take someone that's like the number one team in the state. So every week it's just a grind, and you just got to focus on that one opponent each week. I think we're really confident coming in, but, um, you know, we still want to get to the last game. We're we kind of short the last two years. But uh, we're obsessed with getting the last game, you know, and getting that state championship. The 2018 season is set up to be a special one at Bennett Academy. The Red Wings are ready to start the season and clear the final hurdle on their state championship journey. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.